we are going to learn how to perform an outbound call with ASTPP. This is our ASTPP portal and in our ASTPP portal we have very simple way to make an outbound call. First we are going to show you one very simple diagram for outbound call flow. In the diagram we can see the customer, provider, rate group, origination rates, gateway trunk and termination rates so these are the configurations we have to configure in our ASTP for making an outbound call for creating a customer we have to go to the account section and on the account sections we have customers and from the customers we have to click on customers once our page redirect to the customers page we will get the option create customer we can create a customer by clicking on create customer where we need to fill up with some details like first name and email id that should be specific for each and every customer and the provider so for the testing purpose right now i'm going to create a customer with the name of mike and email id I am going to provide here mic at the rate gmail.com and the most important thing in our ASTP we must have to fill up those details where we can see the star mark so once we complete with all these details we have to click on save for creating a customer So now we have successfully create a customer. As we can see, we have successfully created a customer. So now we have to create a provider. For create a provider, we have the option create provider. By clicking on it, we can create a provider account. So now I am going to create a provider account here. We must have to give a specific email ID as I already said. And by clicking on save option, we are successfully creating our provider. So we have successfully created our customer and provider account here. Now we have to create a rate group for them. So for the rate group, we have the section tariff and from the tariff, we will get the option rate groups. And from the rate groups, we can create the rate group here. For creating a rate group, we must have to give a name, initial increment, and the increment. And we have the other option called routing type and the trunks that I will explain you later on the video. So we have to click on save for creating the rate group so now we have successfully created our rate group here so after creating the rate group we have to create the origination rates for the customer by clicking on origination rates from the tariff section we can create a origination rate here where we can see the rate group already selected by default because we have just made it rate groups here name as test one the code here is the country code for which customer want to make a call suppose customer want to make a call for united states so we can put here one for the country code So for now, by click on save, we have successfully created our origination rate. So after origination rate, we have to create our gateway. For creating a gateway, 
we will have the section carriers from the carriers we have the option gateways and by clicking on the gateways we can get the option create and from that we can create a gateway first we have to provide a name of the gateway then the second field we have the zip profile and the third thing is mandatory the proxy and here in the proxy we have to put the IP where we want ASTPP has to route the call and this IP you will get from your provider M. And remaining options, uh, those are not mandatory. And we can now save for creating the gateway so we have successfully created the gateway here after the gateway we have to create the trunk from the same section from the carriers we can get the trunk option and from the trunk we can create the trunk here and same way we have to provide the trunk name and by default as we have only one provider right now in our ASTPP so by default it is selected so the gateway name is also by default selected here because as we only have one gateway in our ASTPP right now so I am going to save these details for creating this trunk After creating the trunk, we have to create the termination rates for the provider. So for the termination rates uh, on the same section of carriers, we can get the option here. As we already created a origination rate, to, so same way we can create a termination rate here. We have to give the code the country code as we already have given to the customer for the origination rate uh, the United States country code the same code I am going to put here for making this termination rate so now we have created our customer provider then the rate groups origination rates gateway trunk and determination rates for the provider after creating all the things that we have on the diagram now for the call first we have to refill the customer account so now our complete outbound call flow for the ASTPP is we have the customer right here after the customer we have our rate groups and the origination rates in that origination rate we have to assign the rate group we have created and once we have assigned the rate group in the origination rate we have to assign that rate group into the customer account After assigning the rate group, as we have the gateway which we have made so that ASTPP can route the call to 
your provider and this gateway we have to assign to the trunk into the trunk and once we assign uh, this uh, gateway into the trunk we have to assign the provider that we have made uh, before with the customer uh, so we have to assign that provider into the trunk and after uh, creating the trunk we have to assign this trunk to the termination rate and at the end we have to assign the trunk into the rate group so that customer call get route into the trunk so we have three routing types here or we can select one and we can select the trunk and we can save it so after creating the rate group as we already mentioned after all this we finally has to assign that rate group to the customer and by registering the SIP device uh, with any soft phone we can make the outbound call in our ASTPP so this is our complete outbound